You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Playing with plastic. I'm the big cat. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at something I've been waiting over 30 years for. Studio Series 86, Optimus Prime. First up, we're going to take a look at packaging. And of course, it is the shot. One of the most badass scenes in movie history. Yes, you heard me. I don't give a shit. That scene with Prime going off on everybody. One of the most badass action scenes ever in cinema. On the side, we have a shot of Prime's big fat head. On the back, we have shots of all the accessories, gimmicks, how many steps it takes to transform, and other crap. Battle for Autobot City. Another iconic shot of Optimus Prime before he goes all fucking badass. And shout out to the box art. That is some good stuff right there. I really like the blur in his eye. Streaking across. And here we got Optimus out of the packaging. Included is a legalese paper. And a ridiculous, seriously ridiculous instruction manual. It is kind of clear, but Jesus, come on. Give us a real booklet. And fix your freaking printing. The contrast is fucking horrible. Included, we get a backdrop from the Battle of Autobot City. I mean, if you like this sort of thing, it's nicely done. Let's snip, snip, snip Prime out of his packaging. Being as careful as I can not to cut the figure. All right, I'm just going to let it out right off the bat. This is the best mainline Optimus Prime that you can get. Uh, Earthrise Prime was pretty decent, but this is leaps and bounds better. Just a gorgeous figure from head to toe. Actually, not so much the head. In my opinion, I think uh, the ears are off. Antennas, whatever the fuck. Uh, even on the packaging. It shows nice and pointy. For me, Prime's head in the 86 movie, um, it's, a, it's a bit more sleek than this. It, this one's a bit off, but I understand because um, they're probably worried that the ears would break. I don't want to make it too small. Uh, they'll snap or warp, and it completely avoids that. The only thing, like, the head's super locked down, which is disappointing. But... Par for the course when it comes to Transformer figs. Profile shots are just beautiful. I usually have a problem with Optimus's legs in general. They're usually a little wonky, this and that, but these are, these are spot on, I find. A bit more extra detail, panel lines, this and that, but for the most part, these are uh, some of the best feet slash legs on any Optimus Prime I've handled. Uh, he looks fantastic. Honestly, the only thing that beats him, I would say, is like a TE-01, a Transform Element Optimus Prime. These are third-party figures anyways. Uh, Masterpiece, uh, Scale, uh, that, and uh, Magic Square, the uh, Light of Peace figure, is, uh, is pretty much the, uh, besides the material, the gold standard. But I digress. This guy is gorgeous. Another issue I have is uh, no side panel. They kind of leave it open there. Uh, pff, I don't hear many people saying much about that, but I think they could have remedied that. There is a port that you can put a stand in his ass. There we go. We got some nice details on the back of his legs. A couple pistons showing there. Uh, just nice panels. Uh, some grates and grills and yes these are supposed to be uh put on backwards but don't care and i am not going through the hassle of fixing it psa they are uh 
put on backwards. But it really makes no difference in my opinion, so who gives a shit? Let's get into articulation. The head, they gotta figure something out. You just get, you can do a full 360, uh, you can get a uh, slight up, slight down. The ears are articulated, can move forward and backward, but they gotta figure something out with this, uh, this neck system. It's really like no thought put into it, nothing at all. That's my main gripe with the figure, just the head in general is just off. In my opinion. Not to a large degree, but it's just the ears and uh, the articulation when it comes to the head off. We have butterfly joints. I forgot to mention in articulation, but there is back on the butterfly joint. Slight back. We have uh, the stacks move. We have a bicep swivel. We have a single jointed elbow. And I like the way it looks from the side profile. It kind of gives me vibes of uh, G1 Prime. Uh, that little, just that little indent there, I don't know, like missing link G1. For me, I see it as a design nod. When it comes to the hand, we can do a full 360. Uh, the index finger is fully articulated and the last three digits are stuck together and articulated. Moving on, his arm can go totally the opposite way because of transformation. Unfortunately, we don't have a crunch on him, but uh, don't hold your breath for such things. When it comes to Hasbro, we have a twist at the waist and uh, his front skirts on his hips, they move as one I think just like Ultra Magnus, I'm not a fan of that. I would like them to be articulated separately, like in the back, but they are not. He can kick out all the way like that. Really good range on his hips. He can do the splits either way. And uh, pretty tight, those, uh, the friction joint on his, on his hips. Pretty tight. We get by, uh, we get thigh swivel, a single jointed knee that gets really damn far. He can kick his own backpack, and then going down to the ankles, we have really nice ankle tilt. The toe goes down as well as the heel, and that's it. No upward movement. Articulation for the most part, besides the head, really good. All right, accessories, we get the trailer. A really nicely done trailer. I'll compare later to uh, Earthrise Prime. But this is pretty much like the old G1 trailer. It's big like the old G1 trailer, I'll put it that way. Two different types of gray on the paneling there. Three different kinds. You got the dark, slightly lighter, and then the light stripe going across with a very nicely done Autobot logo. There's two ways you can hold up the trailer. You've got this way with uh, little feet that come down. Be nicely done. Uh, tires. Uh, the blue section there with, uh, with the tires is actually storage for um, the blast effects. We have what looks like a spare tire down there molded in. It's a pretty nice touch. And we also have these legs that come out almost like the G1 toy, except they got a bit more movement. And a deluxe car can easily fit inside. There is SS86 Jazz in and out. Let's split the trailer open. Look at the details. You can store everything inside the trailer, plus underneath the trailer with the extra storage spot that I'll show off. Oh, there he is with the drone inside. And it gets pretty big 
when you extend him all the way up. Just stick Prime there. You know, where the fuck was the trailer during the movie? Let the trailer go. Was it just sitting there? It's just sitting there waiting for him. In the wreckage of Autobot City. Where'd the trailer go, fuck? How come Roller didn't come help him? Drag him into the trailer, fix him up. Oh. So here we got Drone. I think that's what his name is, yes. Drone. You can stick a little tiny figure inside there. If you find an ant, you can maybe stick him in there too. It's about the only thing I can think of that will fit is an ant. His arm is articulated pretty nicely. We have a lot of movement. The claw opens and closes. He can extend pretty high when he wants to. And uh, there is the antenna. Let's collapse him down because he can do other things. Ah, here we have Roller. Done in silver. Wheels roll as all rollers should. We got two slots there that help him stay put when he's in the trailer. Just attaches there onto the front of the drone. I wish they would have done uh, like the toy back in the day. Those two, those two pieces are you know were extended out and it was spring loaded. You could just shoot roller right out the trailer. Pew! It was nice. I wish they did that, but uh, companies don't take chances anymore. A spring? You crazy? There we go. You can easily attach drone to roller, and you know have a a rolling weapons deck. Which it did not do in the movie. Maybe Prime would still be alive if he just got dragged to his trailer. I don't know. We get two blast effects. Can be plugged in here. Here. And on Prime's blaster. And the most badass blast effect pieces ever. We got blast effects for the cab when you have him in alt mode. So he can look like he's blasting off into the air. About to transform. And whoop. Some Decepticon ass. They easily plug in together. Beautiful stuff. Here we have a nice Energon axe. Uh, it's probably the best uh, Energon X uh, implementation that I've seen in the main line. So if you transform his hand, you get a peg that shows up, and you just plug in the Energon X into the peg, and there you go. Hack away. Thumbs up for that. Good stuff. As all primes do, he comes with the matrix of leadership in his chest. Just a regular old Matrix. Pretty sure it's the same that came with Rodimus or whatever. He can hold it. And that's it. Yeah, there's the details inside the chest cavity. And uh, that's it. I'm not going to show him holding it because I don't feel like it. And I won't ever do that. Time for some comparisons. Next to Earthrise Optimus Prime. What was considered the best Prime, I guess, mainline Prime, uh, has been dethroned. Now, main difference, this Prime, the Earthrise Prime was leader class. This Prime being commander class, which, uh, uh, looking at our next figure, Ultra Magnus, uh, he is also a commander class. and. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, they did what they could. I, it's finding the sweet spot for the price. I do find Prime is a bit pricey. But the engineering is there. blah blah They justify it somehow. But, I mean, look at this. This is two commander classes right here. Both have issues with the fucking 
uh, head articulation. Prime can't look up to meet his eyes, and Magnus can't look past his boobs. There we go, two Commander class figures. SS86 Optimus Prime and SS86 Ultra Magnus. Here he is next to the last SS86 figure that came out. Swoop! Swoop! Next to a G2 Optimus Prime. I don't have a G1. Here we got Missing Link Optimus Prime. Next to MP01. Ugh. Yep, we've come a long way. It's a masterpiece, but you know. I'm just showing things. Here we got SS86 Grimlock. SS86 Cup. SS86 Brawn. SS86 Blur. Uh, next to Kingdom. Cyclonus. SS86 Perceptor. SS86 Rekgar. RC. Uh, next to, was it Earthrise? I don't know. It's the Springer from, uh, I don't think it was Kingdom. But anyways, horrible ankles on this guy. SS86 Hot Rod. Representing my boys from the Beast Wars. Tigatron. Kingdom Galvatron. SS86 Swoop. And Kingdom Rodimus Prime. Also a Commander Class figure. And because I'm contractually obligated, the orb. Here's the trailer in its base mode just to show roller. I wish they did the gimmick there with the spring-loaded launcher, but they didn't. The front of his nose just holds on with friction to drone. The headmaster from Ape Face fits inside roller. And everything can be stored. I'm going to show it. The blaster effects go here. Prime's rifle goes there. The Energon axe plugs into the other side. There is a hole. Kind of Makes it idiot proof. I almost was an idiot there. You got that hole. Uh, stick it in. Just plug it in. Plug it in. There we go. There is the storage for the inside of the trailer. Close it up. Let's go to the back right here. You just unplug the bumper. There we go. And just like uh, Rodimus, you got space for, we got, you got more storage here for the blast effects for Prime's alt mode blast effects. No complaints. I got zero notes on this. Now, as per usual, Folks, I'm sorry, but I don't do transformations. It would be pointless. I don't know how to film it. I don't know how to show it good. You would get lost uh, more so than if you read the booklet. So if you're looking for a good transformation, as always, there is MGO 316 and TM Reviews. Both of those guys do excellent transformation videos or in the review, they got the transformation there. So if you're looking for that, that's where I suggest you go. Getting into his alt mode, it just, it looks gorgeous. They did a really good job uh, making his truck different. What I can say about the transformation, though, is it's 40 steps, but it feels like less than that. Which, in other words, means it was a fun transformation. Nothing complicated 
once you do it a couple times, you pretty much got it down pat. I'll say that. Really gorgeous looking truck mode here. I'm going to do a comparison with uh, Earthrise Prime and it just blows it away, as it should for this price. He is wider, he is taller, he is longer, he is just a more substantial figure in every way. But no, no disrespect to Earthrise Prime, it was a good figure when it came out. I mean, the side's a little rough there, in my opinion. There's fucking portholes everywhere. All right, let's show off. All right, let's show off the full package and how it compares. Yeah, it's, you know. <laughs> Earthrise Prime is the same size as SS86 Prime's trailer. Look at that. <laughs> They're like, whoa, guys, he fits right in there. You literally, you can't put him in there, but like, he looks like he could fit right inside him like a Russian doll. It's pretty cool. Let's do a couple more alt mode comparisons again, next to SS86 Jazz. I think the scale is pretty good. One little thing I could complain about is the, uh, the lower bumper on Prime's alt mode, it could have used another shot of uh, silver. Uh, the red's kind of bleeding through there. That's about it. Here he is next to MP Sideswipe. It's a masterpiece figure, but, you know. It was here, so I will show you. All right, so you can stick a stand in his ass. I'm using a, a Mafex stand. It's a little short there. Well, I'll see what I can do just with this little thing. Do like some falling backward action pose. You can do that. There we go, knocked off balance, needs to make a critical shot. Looking good. Now stick an extension on this bad boy and you can do the pose. He's got the touch. It would have looked better if he had a, a little bit of a crunch there. It would have made it easier. But you can definitely do it. There we go. I don't know if I have it down pat, but it looks good to me. Now, <laughs> I have to show you guys this. Don't go using a MAFX stand. Uh, you use a stand with a regular 5mm port, but apparently these Mafex ones are a little bit uh, a little bit uh, too uh, fat for what I need. And there's uh, some stress marks on my, my butt plug, you know? Final thoughts on SS86 Optimus Prime. Hands down, the best Optimus Prime that Hasbro has ever released. This guy's gorgeous. The, the sculpt is great, except for the, the head's a bit off, in my opinion. That's all I'm going to say, and that's all it's going to lose marks for. This is like top-tier uh, Transformer right here, people. I'm sure they made tons of these, and I hope everybody gets a chance to pick this up. Like I said, I've been waiting over 30 years for this kind of prime to come to life, you know? There's third-party uh, figures that have been around for a while, but, but I wanted something official, and Hasbro just knocked it out of the park. This is almost perfect plastic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell. I'm the big cat. I'll catch you guys next time.